everybody. Today I am very excited to be shooting Vanna Bardot for my website. We are going to be not only giving you some fun behind the scenes glimpses of my shoots, but I'm actually also going to do my best to find some time to explain to you guys some of my lighting setups, some of my location choices, why I decide to shoot in those places and other just little tips and tricks that make my work what it is. So I hope you guys enjoy the ride. Let's go shoot. So as per the usual, when shooting at the ranch, models often get Ubers here and Uber drivers do not want to go up this driveway. So often I have to drive down in the Gator to pick the models up from the bottom of the driveway, which can be tricky because I don't know when they get here because once they get on the road to get to the ranch, there's no cell phone reception. So it's kind of a crapshoot, but uh, this is this is what you get for working in paradise. I found her. <laughs> she was like the Uber driver just dropped her off um, at the other gate, like just left her there. I was like, bye. There's like no one around. Fucking Uber drivers, but she's safe now. <laughs> for Holly Randall today. We're in a beautiful meadow and a little forest nymph in a tree and it's gonna be a very magical looking set. <laughs> Stay with the same motion. A lot of people switch it out too much and that's what really throws somebody off. What is your favorite thing in bed? Like what really gets you going? Uh, I like a good tease. Like that is like what's gonna get me to come the hardest is if you just keep teasing and teasing and teasing until I'm begging for it. Um, what do you think about penis size? Bigger is better or not necessarily? Definitely not necessarily. I'm not a size queen at all. I prefer like a normal to even on the smaller size stick because it like hits my G-spot better and it's not stabbing my cervix. Okay, so I got a couple of tools that I am using here today. This is a leaf blower, but this is actually a really great tool to have on set if you want to add a little wind to your set. You want to do a little hair blowing, you want to do a little, um, you know, fabric blowing. It's great because you can be very directional with this thing um, and it's light and this one is portable so you can take it anywhere you want. It's pretty cool. Now uh, because we're shooting outside we want to pop a little bit of extra light into the shade where we are shooting Vanna right now. So we are using a very shiny board reflector. Now Reflectors come in all different shapes and sizes and firmness. Um, this one is one of the most powerful ones you're gonna get, but you can see it's, it's hard, it's not flexible, and it's heavy. You have to put it on a big stand, not just a regular C stand, but like a high boy stand. Now, if you're somebody who doesn't have access to a big van that you can store all these huge pieces of equipment, you can get those fold-up reflectors, but it's just not gonna give you a powerful um, enough light like this will. So we really need this so we can really pop in that bright light that's gonna just make Vanna pop from the background. Okay, so who is your favorite female performer to work with? Oh, my favorite female performer? 
That's a tough one. I have to be a little biased and say my best friend, Jade Baker, because, I mean, we've been fucking each other since high school, so there's a lot of chemistry there already. <laughs> Wait, you've known her since high school? Yeah. Yeah, I met her when I was 16 and she was 18. And uh, yeah, I had such a little crush on her for so long. And then at her high, at her prom after party, I saw her, I was like one of the few sophomores there. And, um, you know, had a little, was a little buzz, had a little confidence. And uh, yeah, I just went up to her and started talking with her. And like literally within 60 seconds, like both of her friends left and we started making out and yeah, ended up going to her car. And um, yeah, it was a whole, we fucked in a Fiat, if you can picture how that goes, so. <laughs> Good thing you guys are both petite. Yeah. <laughs> okay, next little tip and trick. If you want to make a girl look dirty, you don't actually want to cover her in dirt. So we're doing Vanna um, as a kind of like dirty mechanic pickup truck scenario. So what we are gonna use is something called Cinedirt actually makeup that looks like dirt and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take see it's actually this is called fuller's powder but it's the same thing. it's the same thing it's called senator industry professionals call it senator <laughs> and uh so what we're gonna do is we covered her in baby oil and we're just gonna take it and we're just gonna kind of smear bits of it um all over her to make her look dirty yet sexy at the same time. I'm gonna just I'm gonna just dip my hands in like you would like dirt, kind of like this, Ugh. like that, and then you just kind of like wipe. Oh, cool. You know, like a little bit on her on her stomach. It's just very like clearly on purpose, you know. Okay, wait, I have to get it on this side. <laughs> you got my fingerprint. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Just a girl riding a truck. Getting down dirty. Look, <laughs> <laughs> like dirty, Anna. You're dirty. <laughs> and how you take to use the smaller staircase? Put some in the butt? Yeah. Well, yeah. I think she just wants me to grab her butt. I think so too. <laughs> Look, just tell me, girl. Oh, I'm easy. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, so how would that do? I would have to go this way, right? Should I do a handprint? <laughs> Holly, do you want a handprint? Holly, do you want a handprint on the butt? A uh, dirty handprint? <laughs> just a little? Maybe just, just on the back of my thighs or something. Yeah. 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 Flare. Oh, okay. Now I got it like between your legs. Yeah. And that shot I love. Yeah. And I can, and then that's oh my straight. god. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did it. You fucking oh, killed yeah. it.